Here we are in the old Polish section of St. John's Cemetery. How it got to be the Polish section, I don't know. I just know that here in this section, there are mostly, almost all Polish names, and also the monuments are different. You'll notice that there are uh, monuments that have uh, a big uh, stone cross on the top. The, the Poles began to come to Riverhead, Eastern Long Island, in the 1870s. And, of course, they're mostly Catholic. And at the beginning, they can come to uh, St. John's Church because the Mass is in Latin, so they understand no matter where. But certainly, they want their own uh, homilies, their own language. They want uh, to be able to sing their own hymns. They want religious instruction in their own language. And so eventually, they buy a piece of property. On, uh, in 1903, they buy what had been a school building called the Riverhead Academy and they make the bottom part of it into a church and the upper part into a uh, the rectory, a place for the priest to live. And in 1907, the parish becomes, uh, the uh, community becomes a parish. Now, of course, they're going to need burial places too. And so they come to consecrated ground here at St. John's. The first burial I've been able to find here goes back to 1910 and it's from one Joseph Kapuscinski. There are some special mysteries here. Uh, there are three burials of three young children who died within two weeks in March in 1916. Uh, there's uh, Rosalie Yazambak, who was five, her sister Seslawa, who was four, and another family uh, whose uh, the young girl's name was Yanina, who died when she was one. What happened in those two weeks in eight, uh, 1916 that they died? You also hear a number of, of burials from 1919. And 1919 was the year of the great uh, uh, flu epidemic. It went from the, uh, the March of 1918 to the summer of March 1919. Throughout the world, 50 million people died. And uh, in the United States, 675,000 people died. So it's probably reflected here where the plague, where the influenza epidemic touched Riverhead. One interesting thing about the Riverhead, about the, excuse me, the Polish tombstones, is that many of have a, in Polish this expression, uh, so-and-so, the name of the person who's buried there, asks that you say a Hail Mary, an expression of great faith on the part of the people who are buried here.